This one's for out of this world. If this was a world, it'd be out there. Anyway. Um... I'm not on the blue felt today because my mom or my sister's having a wedding this summer and so I can't use the pool table so uh, she's getting ready for all the flower decorations and what have you um, but this is the trick I'm just using green felt today hopefully it's well lit for you not bad it's tolerable for this one time um, there's a setup uh, with, from this pack of cards, I'm going to get rid of the jokers actually. Uh, you need to split the deck in half between the colors of red and black. So, the easy... I see everyone, when they try to separate cards, they'll like do it one at a time. And then they'll get to like the cards and then they'll start going back and forth. Just when you're separating cards, this is just a short left one in itself and hopefully you already do this. But... The fastest way to go through cards is to go through, pop up all the reds, because there's only 26 of them, so you pop up these 26 cards. Like if you're missing a card and you don't know what it is, separate them by colors first, and so there you go, now it's half and half. And if you're missing a card, let's say, so then you count out all the heart, then you go through and find all the hearts, like this. So now all the hearts, all the hearts are up here, and all the diamonds are down here. And then let's say you're missing like the three of hearts, you would just order these cards, and you'd see the three is missing. And then you'd go find a new pack of cards and get the heart. So anyway, here's your setup. We're gonna leave blacks on top for now. And the easiest way to do this is to take the first red card and pencil dot it. In the corner, which I'll do. All you have to do is take the three diamonds or whatever card, doesn't really matter, and just put a little pencil dot that you will see when you're spreading through the cards. That way, you don't need to have a break when you're spreading through. All you have to do is go through, oh, there's that three diamonds right there. And that'll be your indicator of where the deck is split in half. So, there's your setup. Black cards on top, red cards on bottom, and that three of diamonds with the pencil dot separating it or whatever card. So you start out and you have a spectator so pick any card, but you, they have to pick it from hopefully the top. And so they point it out and they take it. All right, Jack of Clubs. Or actually, I'm sorry. You go on and say, all right, there's only red cards or there's only black cards. So go ahead and touch a card and they say whatever color. And if they're right or wrong, it doesn't really matter. So they have that. And then what I did in my video was I had them take from the bottom half of the deck. Because there's those tough cookies that if you try to force them to pick something from the bottom of the deck, they'll spread through the top and take another one. So if you're doing it to like good people, just spread the bottom half of the deck and they'll pick a card. But if you're doing it to really tough people, you know our one-handed fans. So go ahead, have them take a card. And they guess whatever it is. Now all you have to do is you tell them to pick a pile at the beginning. Which one do you like more? It's the magician's choice. You're like, all right, do you like black more or red more? And they're like, all right, I like, I like red more. And they're like, all right, I'm going to keep that one. So do you want whatever color is on the bottom half of the deck? That's going to be your pile. I did this wrong in the actual performance. I did it wrong if you go back and look, but I took this pile when I should have taken the red pile, and one card at a time, and all these cards are black, so no matter where you put them, they're going to be all black, until you get to, here's my pencil dot, right there, and you're like, alright, that's about half the deck, about half the deck, go ahead, touch any of these cards, they're all red, go ahead, touch any of these cards, and they take it out. What color do you think it is? Uh, I think it's black. Oh, you were wrong. Then you put it in the black pile. You put it in the opposite pile. You're switching up piles. And your excuse to take, get a black card, because you don't have any black cards in here, you go over here and you're like, all right, let's see if you got at least one of the blacks right. But you got all of them right. 
flip it over. All right, so now we're switching piles. Here's black and here's the red. So then you go through and you take the entire and you do everything, blah, blah, until both packs are done. And you remember that whatever color the bottom half of the deck was is the color you take. So you tell your spectator, pick up this pile, square it up, and turn it over. So let's say they do that. And while they're doing that, you square it up, and what you do is you can, with your thumb, peel off this bottom ace and get a break under that ace. And all you have to do is turn over the entire packet except the ace. So, spread out like this. Oops, actually be spread out like this. Like, all right, you go ahead, pick up your deck, square it up nice and clean, and square it up, and all you have to do is flip it over. So they flip it over, you flip yours over. No one's gonna notice that there's not a face down card here and there's a face down card here. Because all you do is you tell them to spread it out, and they do, all the cards are with each other. Blacks with the blacks, and reds with the reds. It's out of this world.